My name is Mary Isaac, and I am co-owner and multitasker of Fit Hammer Brewing Company in Long Island City, New York City. I think one thing for us is we really like to experiment a lot. A lot of beers never leave the brewery. We do send some kegged and canned beer outside the house, but because we have 15 drafts, we're open seven days a week, people that come here drink across the board. We can do a horseradish pale ale or a cucumber saison and people drink it. I started drinking craft a long time ago when I was in college. When I moved to New York City, I would always go to Beer Craft in Park Slope and ask them, you know, about beers and they would always be like, Mary, you need to start brewing. So I started brewing in January of 2006. I got into sours like pretty early on, a couple years into homebrewing. So I was homebrewing all these sours that take a year or two to fully mature. At one point, I think I had like 25 carboys in my shared basement of all sizes from one gallon to five gallon. So I got hip to these fast turnaround beverages. I started making things like spinach wine and lavender short mead. These short beverages that I was doing were not only delicious, not commercially available, so they were super unique, and they were an easy way to get people into homebrewing, and also just like to sustain my need to homebrew and, and my passion behind it while I was waiting for these sours to mature. Not only has homebrewing proliferated in New York City and across the country and world, but also it's becoming much more diverse, I guess, as far as women, people of color, other groups besides white dudes. <laughs> So I'd say that we started seeing these kind of other public-facing homebrew competitions probably within the last 10 years in New York City. All right, so 2019, Brooklyn Women Homebrew Competition, and our third judge, Mary Azette, Fifth Hammer Brewing. Judging a competition with, with friends is, it's just a lot of fun, especially doing it blind and, you know, being able to talk to each other about the beers. One thing that I noticed right away is the diversity. There were a lot of flavors. People were using fruit and herbs and spices. For only 18 beers in a the competition, there was a huge amount of diversity in styles. A lot of great quality as well. These two amazing brewers are going to get to brew a beer, a 15 barrel batch at Fifth Hammer oh. Brewing. It'll be on tap. Woo. So, number one, Nick nailed it. We didn't even have enough female homebrewers when I first started in New York City, I would say. I mean, there were very, very few of us. I was the only woman in my beer judging classes. A lot of us that came through homebrewing now own breweries in New York City or elsewhere in the country or world. Yeah, I mean, we've made amazing friends. I mean, that's where Chris and I met, is at the New York City Homebrewers Guild. It's just a great community and something fun to share with each other. 